hello and welcome back to the channel on today's tutorial i'll be sharing with you how to draft and sew a keyhole neckline bustier gown with a puffy sleeve so if it's your first time viewing my channel please hit on the subscribe button so let's start so the first thing i went ahead to do was to mark out my basic measurement which is my shoulder to bust line shoulder to under bust and my shoulder to waistline and i also marked out my neckline so i'm using a standard measurement of three by three inches for the neckline so going to the shoulder i'm going to mark my shoulder circumference divided by two and i'll add half inch making it 7.5 and i'll come down by one inch for my shoulder slant or shoulder slope and i'll go ahead to use my ruler to connect it down to my neckline next i'm going to place my tape and i'm going to mark my chest line to get your chest line is your bust circumference divided by 6 plus 1.5 inches so i'll go ahead to draw a straight line at this point to indicate my chest line and i'll connect back to my shoulder so i'm going to divide what i have at my armhole into two and i'm going to go in by half inch and from that point i'm going to connect from the shoulder down to that point and down to my chest line to draw my armhole so after that i'm going to mark my nipple to nipple divided by two and i'm going to mark it at my waistline and at my under bust going down to my bust line i don't want it to be too straight so i'll be adding half inch to my nipple to nipple which is 3.5 plus half giving you four and i'll go ahead to connect it so my nipple to nipple is seven divided by two that's why i have 3.5 inches so from that point at the armhole i'm going to come down by one inch and i'm going to make a mark there so i'll connect it from my bust line down to that point so after i'm done marking that the next step is to mark my dart so coming over to the lower part so normally i mark one inch at both sides for this particular pattern i'm just going to mark two inches and i'm going to also mark at the under bust and i'm going to connect it straight down so after connecting it at that point i'm going to come down by one inch at my bust point and i'm going to place my french curve and i'm just going to connect it down to my under bust this way so the next step i'm going to take right now is to connect it back to that one inch point on top and i'm going to go ahead and use my marker to do that so whatever i take out from that part i'm going to go ahead to replace it and i'll place my tape and mark one inch and i will connect it back so the next step i'm going to take is to insert my body measurements at the bust line i'll be marking my bust circumference so i'm going to divide my bust circumference by four inches mark and remember this one inch i took out i'm going to go ahead and replace it and i'm going to mark my sewing allowance coming down to the under bust i'm going to mark my under bust circumference mark the two inches that intake and mark my sewing allowance at the waistline i'll mark my waist circumference mark the two inches that intake and mark my sewing allowance now the next step is just connect from my bust take it to my chest line then come down to my under bust and my waist so the next thing i'll do is to draw a new armhole for this pattern so at the upper part i'm just going to go ahead to reconnect my armhole so my pattern is ready and the next step is just to cut it out so for this hole at the center of this dress we are going to be creating it when we are actually sewing the dress so if it's your first time viewing my channel and you find this tutorial very interesting and educative please hit on the subscribe button don't forget to leave your comment and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for supporting my channel so i'm going to label this as f1 f2 meaning front one and front two you can, you can go ahead and use c1 and s meaning side and center so why i'm labeling this is because the back pattern is almost the same with the front pattern so i'll just go ahead to draw a little circle at that point to indicate that we're going to actually make a hole in the front 
So going over to the back pattern, I've gone ahead to draw out the basic measurements just like I did in front. The only difference is that I have a zipper at this part. So if you watch the front part, you're going to understand how I did this. So the next thing I'm going to do is to mark my nipple to nipple divided by 2 and I'm going to mark that from the zipper allowance. So I'm going to also mark it at the bust, sorry, at the under bust and at the bust line. So after that, I'm just going to go ahead and draw a straight line at this point. So next, what I'm going to do is to mark half inch that at both sides and i'm just going to go ahead to extend it to my shoulder to bust line plus one so the, it's the same thing as coming down by one inch from your bust line so i'll just go ahead and draw my normal that and extend it to my chest line so the next thing you're going to do is to divide your chest line into two and you're going to place your french curve and you're going to connect so with this i'm done and i'm going to label b1 and b2 meaning back one and back two so after doing that the next thing i'm going to do is to get rid of the bulginess at the back of the dress and i'm going to mark half inch and extend it upwards this way so this is what i have and next step i will take from here is to insert my body measurements so for the back all my body measurement is starting immediately after the zipper allowance and i'll go ahead to mark my bust circumference divided by four and i'll mark my sewing allowance i will extend it down to my chest line and i will measure my under bust circumference i'll mark my under bust circumference measure the dart intake replace it and mark my sewing allowance so after marking that i'm going to go over to the waist mark my waist circumference measure the dart intake and i will mark my sewing allowance so after doing this the next step is just to use my ruler to connect from my under bust down to my waist and from my under bust i'm going to connect it down to my bust line this way and i'll go ahead and label all the necessary parts on my pattern after that the next step i'm going to take is to go ahead to cut out the back pattern After I'm done cutting the back pattern, this is what I have. We'll be moving over to the skirt pattern of this dress. For the skirt pattern, the first thing you're going to do is place your tape and minus your waist measurement. So my waist is 17. I'm going to place my tape and I'll get the full length of my gown, which is 35 inches. And I'll go ahead to draw a line at that point. So after that, I'll be adding 2 inches for folding allowance or turn up allowance and i'm going to go ahead to also mark at that point next i'm just going to write out my skirt length and my folding allowance just to indicate that point so at the upper part of this pattern i'm going to use it as my waist and from that point i'm going to place my tape come down by seven inches so if you're a much taller person you can go ahead to use eight inches and i'll just make a mark at that seven inches line and place my ruler and i'm going to make a mark there so next i will be inserting my waist circumference at the upper part so most times if i use a princess that bustier or a bustier or corset i don't normally add that to my skirt pattern so i'll mark my waist circumference divided by four and i'm going to be adding my sewing allowance to my skirt pattern so at the hip point i'm going to mark my hip circumference divided by four and i'm going to be adding my sewing allowance and going down to my skirt whatever i have at my skirt the total my hip is 40 divided by four i have 10 plus 2 inches that's 12 inches so whatever i have on that point i'll be minusing two inches so 12 inches minus two i have 10 so the reason why i'm doing this is to have a fitted effect at the lower part of the skirt and i'll also mark it at the folding allowance so whatever i have i'm going to connect it down to my folding allowance or my skirt length and then i'm going to connect from my waist down to my hip point 
after connecting from my waist down to the hip point i'm just going to go ahead to connect it down to the skirt length also so from that point you can also go ahead and use a free hand sketch so before i do that i'm just going to use a free hand to come down a bit and then connect it to my skirt so with this we are done with the front pattern and we are going to cut out this pattern right now after i'm done cutting out the front pattern of the skirt the next step i will take is to cut out for the front so if you have a skirt pattern you don't have need to cut the back you can always place and add your zipper allowance to it your two inches or one inch zipper allowance or you can just go ahead and cut out your back pattern so in our next video we'll be sewing this particular pattern so if it's your first time viewing my channel please hit on the subscribe button if you're a returning subscriber thank you for supporting my channel and don't forget to leave your comments at the comment section see you in our next video